डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर क्लास ऑन जे आर एफ एस आर एफ नेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू स्पेशलाइज सब्जेक्ट पार्ट सी एग्रीकल्चर मेट्रोलॉजी दिस द फर्स्ट लेक्चर फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू नाउ द फर्स्ट बिट ऑफ टूडेज क्लास इज दट द इंफ्रोड थर्मोमीटर इज यूज टू मेजर द इंफ्रोड थर्मोमीटर इज यूज टू मेजर कैनोपी टेम्परेचर द एंसर इज कैनोपी टेम्परेचर कैनोपी टेम्परेचर डिफर्स अलॉट फ्रॉम द कैनोपी एयर टेम्परेचर सॉइल टेम्परेचर एयर टेम्परेचर अगेन वन सेकेंड एयर टेम्परेचर डिफर्स अलॉट फ्रॉम कैनोपी टेम्परेचर नौ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द Canopy temperature and air temperature is also displayed in in some makes of uh, infrared thermometer. Please remember. Now the next bit, auroras, A U R O R A, auroras are unique multi-colored fireworks in the solar sky. Okay, in the solar system, or what? They are present in troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere, exosphere. In which sphere? the auroras are unique in exosphere and magnetosphere the answer is exosphere and magnetosphere auroras are present in exosphere and magnetosphere which of the following is not a form of precipitation a question will come like this which of the following is not a form of precipitation the answers are snow hail dew or virga the answer is dew dew is a form of a, a condensation not precipitation what are the forms of precipitation the liquid forms are rain drizzle shower solid forms are snow and hail a uh, mixed forms are a uh, sleet and glaze so dew is a form of a condensation which of the following is not a form of precipitation there the answer is dew not a form of precipitation now Boyce ballot law Boyce ballot law describes the relationship between wind direction and the following weather element temperature pressure humidity wind okay the answer is the pressure Boyce ballot law describes the relationship between wind direction and pressure the answer is pressure entropy is a form of or entropy is a measure of what is it uh, uh, Whatever the unavailable energy is there, we call it as the entropy. E N T R O P Y. Okay, the question is like entropy is the measure of kinetic energy, potential energy, available energy, and unavailable energy. So the answer is unavailable energy is the entropy. Synoptic scale is the horizontal direction. In the horizontal direction. What is the area of synoptic scale the answer is 500 to 2000 km from a minimum of 500 to 2000 km horizontal distance we take it as the synoptic scale synoptic scale the geotropic wind results from a balance between the geotropic wind results from a balance between okay a pressure gradient force and a coriolis force geotropic wind is a result of a pressure gradient pressure gradient means pressure decrease pressure gradient coriolis force the force which is because of the rotation of the earth coriolis force so pressure gradient force and coriolis force determine the the geotropic wind now mondo minimum is a phenomena related to mondo minimum is a phenomena related to sun spot cycle the answer is sun spot cycle now so what is the which of the following is not correct with reference to el nino okay the question will come like this el nino la nina in the pacific oceans usually between okay november and january these occur generally the el nino is a uh, uh, okay relatively warm or the pacific ocean i have given excellent uh, video on this el nino please read it so okay if i say it it will be lesser than that excellent video i produced now the the question is like this el nino events occur okay uh, after an interval of 10 years which is wrong el nino is typically 
it peaks between November and January. It is correct. El Nino is not caused by climate change. It is correct. It's not because of climate change. El Nino is responsible for the vast amount of heat over the Pacific waters. Yes, it is true. Vast amount of heat. So, which is not correct? The not correct is the El Nino events occur every 10 years after every 10 years is not correct as the other three are correct. It's not because of climate change. It releases a lot of heat in the Pacific Ocean. It is also correct. They occur, okay. Typically peaks usually between November and January. So these are the correct. The incorrect answer is El Nino events occur usually after 10 years is incorrect. Now, so if you hold a sample of air, if you hold a sample of air, okay, at constant pressure, what happens to its temperature if container holding the air sample expands? Okay, Charles law, Boyle's law in a descriptive form. Okay, right. Like what is again the question? I read it. If you hold a sample of air at constant pressure, at con if you hold a sample of air at a constant pressure, there is no pressure change. Now, what happens to its temperature if a container holding the air sample? expands when it expands the temperature increases this is the answer the temperature increases please remember pressure is held constant in a container now so modified penman equation is proposed by not penman it is proposed by doron boss and prout penman equation is there uh, radiation technology radiation component is there that is energy component next one is the weed component are there so doron boss and prout have modified it with some constants now, uh, the answer is modified when man method was proposed by Doron Boss and Proof. That is the answer. The temperature which a dry air would have if its pressure and specific volume were equal to those of a sample of moisture. So it is a simple, okay, uh, 12th standard question or 10th standard. Virtual temperature. So what is the virtual temperature? Several definitions are there. The best definition is like this. Virtual temperature. The answer is virtual temperature. The temperature which a dry air would have if its pressure and specific volume were equal. Pressure and specific volume were equal. Okay. To those of a sample of a moist air. Moist air. So like that of a moist. That is the best definition of uh, uh, the uh, virtual temperature. As for the aggregate meteorologists are concerned, pure meteorologists climate of slightly varies. So now, once again, for your academic interest, I read it. The temperature which a dry air would have if its pressure and specific volume were equal to those of a sample of a moist air. It is virtual uh, temperature. Now, the oscillometer is the instrument used to measure what? It is the cloud height. Oscillometer, thermometer, temperature, high grow meter, humidity, high grow graph, continuous recording of humidity, like that, like that. Okay, so oscillometer is used to measure the height of the cloud. Now, pluviometer is used to measure. Pluviometer is used to measure. The size of the raindrop and velocity. This is the answer. Pluviograph. Another question will come. Continuous recording of uh, rainfall. That is self-recording rain gauge. Is also known as pluviograph. P L U V A O G R A P H. Pluviometer is used to measure the size of the raindrop and velocity of the uh, raindrop. Now, why is this effect is related to? Why is this effect is related to? Evapotranspiration. Evapotranspiration is not related to sunshine, it's not related to rain, it's not related to anything else. Why is this effect means, you know, evapotranspiration in the crop field. If you are walking through, okay, from the left side, winds are coming, on the right side you will find the why is this effect? Right. So maximum hurricane activity takes place between which latitudes? Maximum hurricane, it's not near the equator, slightly away from the equator on both sides. Uh, so 10 to 20 degrees, uh, okay, north latitude, they are heavy. 10 to 20 degrees north latitude, the hurricane activity is extensive. Now, so neutron moisture probe is measured, or is used to measure. Neutron moisture probe is used to measure soil moisture. Thermalization of the neutron. The principle involved is the thermalization of the neutrons. Which wavelength of the visible light? Which wavelength? VIBZ by bar in this VIBZ bar. Which wavelength of the visible light shows the strongest to influence on phototropism, phototropism, it is 0.45, phototropism, okay, now, so I covered this extensively in uh, 
basic course so interoperative government was the climate change if i say it now it will be lesser than uh, le lesser in the uh, efforts i made there please please see the solar spectrum is divided into three ultraviolet light and infrared then i don't know less than 0.4 micron is uh, mm, ultraviolet 0.4 to 0.7 v i b z y r or in that 0.45 is uh, a wonderful uh, part uh, which has got very very strong uh, phototropism effect uh, so everything had given that now see Uh, which of the following statements is correct about uh, impact of weather on rice see please remember this bit is an application cloudy weather cloudy weather for any crop is injurious particularly this question coming to this question cloudy weather during the reproductive stage reduces the yields by just to hold your breath one full day cloudy weather reduces uh, One quintal per hectare of yield. This is the thing. Research findings. So that means cloudiness is not, not, not required, not usual. So that's why if rain occurs during the night or late in the evening or just before sunrise, it's wonderful. So crops gets water during the daytime photosynthesis occurs. This is what. So for rice crop during the reproductive phase, cloudiness reduces the yield. This is the answer. Now, in which wavelength and uh, or radiation of radiation water vapor absorbs? Of course, water vapor is a broad thing. You know, what four percent of water vapor is present to a maximum level in the atmosphere. Of course, it is absorbed in the wavelength point of five point three to seven point seven micron. Five point three to seven point seven micron. So this I have covered in the. Um, remote sensing extensively please 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 have a uh, just a hearing or glance at the um, that uh, remote sensing exercises three i have given now so what will how okay we uh, answer wheat will have better growth and yield if grow below if grow along with which crop wheat yields usually increases by uh, go to a uh, statistically significant level when they are grown along with the shisham 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 grow now to which spectrum of the light uh, the human eye is uh, maximum sensitivity human eye has got maximum sensitivity to leaf green green color of the leaf uh, human eye uh, human eye has a uh, maximum sensitivity now in the double dimensional screen okay what are the instruments are available please note this question in the single dimensional screen you will find dry bulb thermometer wet bulb thermometer which are vertical uh, uh, maximum thermometer minimum thermometer are kept in horizontal this bit will come in the single dimensional screen you will find dry bulb wet bulb vertical uh, uh, maximum minimum thermometer horizontal in the double dimensional screen you will find thermograph hygrograph sometimes 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 barograph in certain location specifically high altitude area so thermograph hygrographs are located in the double stevenson screen that you remember now the mesosphere is characterized as the coldest layer of the atmosphere due to now the temperature goes on decreasing in the troposphere from 0 to 16 degrees km in the near the equator then there is a tropopause then there is a gradual increase in the stratosphere in the stratosphere there is a still stand again in the mesosphere the temperature goes on decreasing why this is the question it is just because the relative lack of molecules to absorb solar radiation there are molecules but they are not abundant when there are no abundant solar uh, abundant air molecules uh, to absorb the solar radiation so naturally the mesosphere the temperatures are the coldest temperatures you find so instead of the heavier atoms and molecules setting out of the atmosphere the atmosphere remains well mixed with the okay with respect to its constituents in spite of its uh, okay uh, innumerable heavier atoms uh, but uh, atmosphere is a mixer why it is why it is due to it is just because uh, nearly infinite collisions between molecules of uh, varying sizes goes on occurring infinite 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 so collisions uh, among the molecules makes the atmosphere uniform at some place no maximum of nitrogen where it is 78% or oxygen 21% no somewhere oxygen somewhere uh, nitrogen no 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 everything is mixed it is because of the scientific reason 
is the nearly infinite collisions between the molecules of varying sizes makes the okay uh, atmosphere more 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 uniform and it is mixed and the atmosphere remains so well mixed because of because of because of the answer is nearly infinite collisions between molecules of varying sizes so this is what i would like to share so i meet you in the next lecture number two three four five like thanking you very much for your very patient hearing